All right, in the previous chapter, we have talked about the finance part of the enterprise structure. Now we are going to look at the sales part of the enterprise structure. At the top, we have what is called as a sales org. Sales org. Okay. What is a sales org? A sales org represents the sales policies that are implemented in that geography or in that zone. For example, <clears throat> let's take GUS. Okay. GUS is the company code for which we are trying to create all these different sales orgs. So a sales org falls under a company code, meaning this sales org is associated to a company code, meaning the sales org exists for that company code. Now, more than one sales org can exist for a company code. For example, GUS can divide their entire sales in the US as, uh, say, Midwest, uh, Northeast, um, Northwest, and so on. So that's one way of defining it by geography. There are multiple ways of defining it, but before we get to that, why are we doing this division? What's the advantage? Let me give you one simple example. Say GEUS does business in Midwest, say a bit differently than it does in the Northeast. For example, when I talk about sales policies, pricing is one example, meaning the prices in the Midwest are different from the prices in the Northeast. Possible, right? Typically, most of the US has a same price list for most companies, but sometimes it's possible. It's possible that different geographies have different pricing policies. Say, for example, in the Midwest, returns are allowed on capital equipment, whereas in the Northeast, returns are not allowed. Maybe replacements are done. See, these are all examples of policies, sales policies. A sales org is used to define a set of policies that apply to their sales, returns, or any kind of sale transaction. Now, it need not always be the case that one country has more than one sales org, either by geography or by any other parameter. Most of the cases, one company code almost always has one sales org in all practical scenarios. But SAP allows you to have more than one sales org per company code. It's up to you. But like I said, typically one sales org per company code. Okay, now what is a sales org? A sales org defines a set of policies that are to be used for that particular geography or whatever kind of division that you use to define that sales org. If there were no Northwest, Northeast, or any other geographical divisions through which you wish to implement your sales policies, you can have an entire US as one sales org and all these connections are gone and it's directly linked to your company code GUS. So US has one set of sales policies with respect to the entire country. That's a sales org. A sales org is the highest level org element. So this is the highest org element in sales okay so because this this part of the window is all sales right so in sales sales org is the apex structure under it we have two main divisions or two main substructures the first one is called as a distribution channel 
distribution channel what's a distribution channel now think about GE medical systems when GE medical systems wants to sell an x-ray machine what are the different channels through which it sells that x-ray machine it could do a direct sale meaning it could directly go to hospitals or diagnostic centers and sell this equipment to them or it could do um, uh, say agency sale say AG where there are agencies that that resell this medical equipment and G sells to that agency and that agent sells it to the hospital or the diagnostic center it could do it um, via cooperative networks you know network of hospitals buying on behalf of the entire hospitals right so uh, different channels through which they distribute their goods now if you take uh, a computer that that's probably more relevant if you take a computer a laptop HP sells a laptop and what are the different distribution channels to which they sell their laptops examples could be wholesale meaning you know what a company like uh, say Ingram micro right Ingram micro which is a distributor of computer goods buys them in wholesale and sells them to different smaller companies that's one channel another channel is corporate where say a company a big company wants to purchase laptops for their in-house consumption for their employees so HP goes and makes a deal with this company and that is a corporate company right so that channel is a corporate channel and then HP can send the same computer on Amazon right that's online retail or e-commerce HP can also sell their site on HP.com that is e-commerce or online whatever as opposed to a third-party online system like buy.com or amazon.com they could sell it on their own website via e-commerce right and they could sell it as a franchise or they could have agents they could have resellers these are all the different distribution channels through which HP actually sells their laptop now in the case of HP it makes sense that it has you know a whole bunch of distribution channels like that because it's a mass product but with a product like an x-ray machine not everybody buys it right only hospitals diagnostic centers buy x-ray machines and of course the network through which they sell their products is not as wide as say HP selling a laptop they only have like one two or three different channels so the channel through which the sale is made is called as a distribution channel so each sales org in the US for example you can have more than one distribution channel and the second key part to a sales org is the division again you can have more than one divisions this is called a division D I V I S I O N what is a division a division represents a group of products from the perspective of G medical systems there could be n number of x-ray machines you know all with different configurations different power ratings you know different um, kinds of x-ray machines for example a dental x-ray is different from a whole body x-ray versus a lower arm x-ray versus a, an x-ray that's done only for the fingers you know these are all different x-ray machines they have different form factors their uses are different but if you want to group them all together and say which division does all these 10 different x-ray machines belong to it's x-ray so a division is a grouping of different products a set of products rather into one parameter and why would we want to do that we're going to talk about it at a later point 
But you understand this point, right? You group different products into one based on some kind of a commonality in it. All X-ray machines come under the X-ray division. Maybe you want to do um, the accounting differently for X-rays, pricing differently for X-rays. Maybe report all the X-ray sa sales for all the 10 different machines underneath it into one division and so on. The, the uses of them are endless. Similarly, it can have CT scanners and then again there are 10 different types of CT scanners one for the brain, one for the whole body, so on and all of them are grouped together into one org element called a division, in this case CT division and MRI is another division and consumables is another division they only sell consumables they don't sell capital equipment right so a division is an org element that represents a grouping of products for the purpose of pricing for the purpose of reporting or for the purpose of other operational efficiencies if you were to do it uh, for HP HP would have divisions like laptop divisions and inside laptop there are a whole bunch of materials that uh, could come under the umbrella of a laptop for example the Inspiron model well HP could have 10 different types of laptops and all of them could come under the division of laptops same with desktops same with printers or scanners and any other kind of broad classification of products that they want to do or their line of products classification of their line of products is called a division okay so we have three org elements that we have seen here sales org distribution channel right and division now a sales org plus distribution channel plus division so one this is one two and three this combination is called as a sales area and this is purely an SAP term it doesn't have any significance outside of it don't think of sales areas as the sales areas that sales people generally think of no this is my domain this is my territory this is my sales district this is my sales area no it's not that there is another term for it called sales district or sales region that you can use at the customer master level or the transaction level but that's different that's typically the sales area that sales consultants think of but this sales area is an SAP specific term which signifies or represents a combination of one sales org one distribution channel and one division for example in this case sales org us plus agency plus x-ray could be one sales area sales org us plus direct sale plus x-ray could be another sales area and the number of combinations could go on and on and on why do we do this because not all combinations are really relevant for example in the US maybe direct sales is not done for x-ray machines in which case you don't use this combination US plus direct sales plus x-ray machine maybe this is not relevant so all combinations in which you actually perform a sale have to be created as what is called as a sales area which is an SAP specific term that signifies a sales org and a distribution channel and a division for which a sale can be done. So we have learned three things here sales org, distribution channel, division. And we have seen that a distribution channel is really something that falls under a sales org, and there can be more than one distribution channel under a sales org, and same with divisions. There can be more than one division associated with the sales org. And a combination of sales org 
plus distribution channel plus division is called as a sales area and we have also talked about why we do a sales area and on top of that we have seen that sales org is really linked to a company code okay. in the next chapter we're going to talk a little bit about sales offices and sales groups that's going to be a small chapter and then we're going to move on to logistics